Hello everyone, this is the Board Bar Donald Leonard here. Um, today we'll be unboxing Haiku Warrior, which was an add-on for my uh, the Pretending to Grown Up Kickstarter that I just received. Uh, this is by Jason Anarchy Games. Stated to be a tabletop RPG adventure told entirely through Haiku for one to four players, ages 13 and up. And they say it'll play in about an hour. So let's get this open and see what's in the box. Tight fitting cover here. I think I can get her off. So in the box there are two packets of cards. Three blue dice, a D6, D4, and a D8. A packet of I guess, um, character sheets. Post-it note style packet um, has room for hero's name, player name, max hit points, current hit points, current weapon, attack strength, survival, uh, treasure hunting, foraging, luck, souls, coins, and some little food symbols here. I'm not sure what they mean, but assuming we'll find out later. There is a bigger card, a shop card on one side and monster attack table on the other side. These are fold out instructions. front and back here okay. let's get these cards open and see what they look like these cards must have been released before the other two Jason Anarchy games I, just, I unboxed because there is no pull tab to open the plastic around the cards. Makes it a little more difficult, but we'll get it. Okay. The back of the cards have the same artwork on. All these are Tower of Many Muses. Um, let's get these separated. Hats. Boots. These are your character cards here. Kind of looks like the Avatar. My son's been watching that quite a bit lately. It's a pretty good show. Um, these are the hero cards. They each have a a name, max hit point, starting weapon, survival, different ratings, um, and natural abilities. So I'll go more into details of these whenever I do the review or playthrough video. I'm assuming I opened the wrong packet of cards first again because these start with Quest 6, Breached Azure. We have a 
Quest 5, Wintry Path. Let me open the other packet of cards here. I think I brought my little cleaver here. This video would probably be much longer me trying to open this stuff. And I say that and I still can't get it open. The edge of one of these cards is already kind of messed up from just being in the package. That's not a good sign there. It's about the size of playing cards, about the same thickness of playing cards. I'm assuming they'll, they may hold up as well as playing cards. We'll see. Um, we have more Quest 5 Wintry Path. Quest 4 Lightning Marshes. Quest 3, Valley of Fire. A bit too far there. Quest 2, Garden of Evil. Quest 1, Melodious Waterways. Had to think of how to say that. <clears throat> I didn't want to mess it up too bad. Um, this is again Quest 1, Melodious Waterways we're looking at here. Um, we have cards like Insanity Squid, Ghost Ship. There's some. Uh, Kind of a grid with numbers here and some circles with numbers in different colors. A little text here. Um, glorious tree. No numbers here, but um, perform a successful saving throw for foraging to find a peach. Um, King Serpent. Tyranno Shark. Oh, that'd be quite a quite a scary thing to see while you're adventuring. The the artwork here is pretty simplistic. I suppose it's kind of a calming a lot of black and white and blue just simple but um, I enjoy the artwork. Nice. So that was quest one. Here. Let's go to Quest 2, different size border. We have uh, greens instead of blues here. More of the same type cards. Um, stuff like Bad Fruit, Magic Hat Rack, Earthy Gust, Quest 3 is Valley of Fire. Of a orange color here, more of the same artwork. It seems like they use black and white, or whatever color denotes that quest for the artwork. Um, Campfire mimic, another magic hat rack, napalm rain, treasure chest. Quest 4, Lightning Marshes, black color here, use, looks like they use purple for the uh, additional color with the artwork. We have a Storm Gargoyle, Glorious Tree, Impaling Unicorn, Treasure Chest, Bad Luck, Wind Wraith, Quest 5 
is Wintry Path, or White here, uh, Snowhawk, Snow Day, Frostbites, Long Wolf, Skating Sasquatch. Interesting. Quest 6, Breached Azure. A yellow color here. Ancient One, Magic Hat Rack, Sublime Slime, Unemployed Seraph, Unholy Wind, Fleeting Answer. Pretty interesting names here. Um, Tower of Many Muses. Looks like this. These all have numbers. So I guess that's significant. Uh, we have things like a light rain, deadly cube, exploding kitsune. I probably did not say that right. Freshest Barbarian, Hangover Hog, Lonely Hedgehog, Unknowing T-Rex. Pretty interesting creatures there. We have Boots, I guess these are all equipment cards, definitely you can tell the difference between these cards and the other pretty pretty well. Um, Dragon hide boots, fruit boots, phoenix boots, swift boots. Assuming each of these gives you uh, additional bonuses. Guess in this game you're gonna wear boots and hats. Nothing else. Sounds like my kind of party. Um, here's the hats, forging hat, moose hat, soul hat, survival hat. I say I'm not showing all of the cards, but uh, just give you an idea of what's here. Um, here are the characters. And we have Cresswell, Cora. Brown one, Bushmu, they have pictures on the side, I guess you could uh, put the boots and hats on them as you play, fit pretty well, I'm assuming that's how they were designed to play, sure I'll see you once I read the instructions. Um, but that's what's in the deck. We have sorry, six quests, um, the Tower of Many Muses, some boots, some hats, four characters, character sheets, three dice, a big shop card, um, and the instructions. Quite a lot in a little box. I'm looking forward to reading the instructions and getting this on the table. Um, again, this was Haiku Warrior by Jason Anarchy Games. It was an add-on for the Pretending to Grown Up Kickstarter. Um, hope this gives you an idea of what to expect when you get your package. And later I will have a review video once I, me and my wife play a few games, maybe, maybe have some friends over, try them out, um, and possibly a playthrough video to follow. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll have uh, details where you can find out more about the game in, in the details below here. Uh, again, this is the Board Bard. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.